is no kind of transport, the hovercraft principle is nudging towards change. The 40-knot Dynacraft showed London what they could do in the way of providing every man's new style motorboat that's not really a boat at all. It just skims over the surface. It's the quickest way across London. The Dynacraft is about the same price as a car. A small engine and fan lift the boat clear of the water. Another look at the fan from a different angle. Amazing that so small an engine can do the job. The Scorpion also uses the air cushion principle, but it can travel over land as well. The mini hovercraft affords a combination of speed and comfort. It's evident now that this is the international boat show at Earl's Court, sponsored by the Daily Express. Power boats are prominent, which is to be expected, considering their growing popularity all around the British coast. In the little harbour, they can be seen in more or less their proper state. Patrick Allen was runner-up in last summer's power boat race. The exhibition shows how strongly boats have gripped the imagination nowadays. No complaints anywhere about the aqua scooter. Dearest and biggest exhibit is the motor yacht Solaria, a real Onassis of a boat going for more than 50,000 pounds. Buy one and the seas of the world are yours for the exploring. Even if you have no immediate prospect of landing 50,000, the Solaria affords a glimpse of really gracious living afloat. At the other extreme, the sailing dinghy. And shown here is the sail trainer. A few lessons and you can get the hang of 50% of the technique. You can't drown or even so much as get wet. The trainer can do everything but sink. With the ocean racer, we come to expert sailing, stepping up into the class of heroes who tackle the Atlantic single-handed. Here are the yachts, the only thing lacking, the sea itself. Sydney Harbour shows boats in their real element. A record entry for the Grand Prix of Blue Water events, the ocean race to Hobart, Tasmania. This is something like yachting. No wonder everyone who can get afloat is on the water to see them off. 38 craft are underway in the 680 mile contest. One thing they can be certain of, some heavy seas before they reach Hobart. It's a notoriously antagonistic stretch of ocean. There's a fine sailing wind. What a sight it all is for the passengers aboard the liner Galileo. Since these pictures were flown here, we've learned the result. Winner on handicap was Freya. But first past the line again was the old favourite, Astor. <laughs> 